Hi, ladies, and welcome back to another week of the Summer Book Club 2018. We're on Chapter 6, Becoming the Best Big Sister. So for the past several weeks, we've been talking about what it looks like to be a better daughter to your parents. Now we're going to change focus a little bit and talk about those relationships you have with your siblings, those other members of your house that may or may not want to make you jump off of a cliff occasionally, especially in the summer when you're spending so much time together. I feel like right about now in the summer, those relationships might be a little bit tense. So it's a good time to refocus, get some tools in that will equip you to be a better big sister. The one word that I wanted to really just kind of camp out on today as we discuss this chapter is influence. As a big sister, you have so much influence in your younger brother and sister's lives. And I know it doesn't always feel that way. Sometimes it feels like they're just annoying or they're trying to be annoyed by you. And those relationships can get tense. But whether you know it or not, they're watching you. They look up to you and they're watching the way that you live, which we're going to talk about next week. One of my favorite verses that have to do with all of the body of Christ, but specifically apply for big sisters is 1 Timothy 4, 12 and 13, which says, be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith and your purity. Focus on reading the scriptures, encouraging the believers and teaching them. This is so important for across the board in every relationship that you have with other brothers and sisters in Christ, but I can't think of a better training ground than with your own younger brothers and sisters. Be an example to them in the way that you're living your life, in the way that you love, in the way that you exhibit faith and courage, and the way that you read your Bible. Those are all excellent ways for you to be a good example because you're a model whether you like it or not. So let's use that influence for good. I remember my one of my older brothers, Ian, took me out on a couple dates. It was probably just a few times, but looking back, it felt like he did this all the time where he would take me out on a date, teach me what it looked like to be treated well by a guy, and, and he didn't have to do much. Like It's burned into my memory as this thing that we always did together and had such huge influence in my life, and it just took a little effort on his part, a little forethought and planning, but it made a huge impact in his little sister's life. And you have that same opportunity this summer. I would encourage you to go through that report card that's in this chapter and rate yourself and how you're being an example in those different areas that 1 Timothy 4, 12 and 13 talk about. How are you doing with it? Are you doing well or do you have room for improvement? And then make it a point this week to put into practice whatever um, you put in those sections of where you can improve and some practical things that you can do to improve those relationships. Put one of those in practice this week and see how it goes. In the comments section, let's talk about question one together in the application questions. What funny, funny memories do you have of your younger siblings making their mark on your life? I shared one of mine about my little sister and I would encourage you in the comment section to share any stories that you have and let's laugh together about some of the ways that younger siblings can make their marks on our life. I'll see you next week for another chapter in family, how to love yours and help them like you back. In the meantime, enjoy your summer. See you then.